Hello, this is part one out of two on my video on computer simulated physics for the science video contest. In this first part, I will show you what are computer simulated physics and how they are used around you today. You already saw some examples in the introduction. So you have this red ball exploding, these Kepler towers collapsing, also some dominoes pushed by a ball that topple over and create what is called the domino effect. You may still not have found the link between all of these videos, so let me give you a clear definition of computer simulated physics from Wikipedia. A computer simulation is a simulation run on a computer to reproduce the behavior of a system. In our case, it is the physical system, where everything obeys to the laws of physics. So the goal of these computer simulated physics is to recreate as realistically as possible what would really happen if you did it. In this video, only basic forces that interfere with our objects have been simulated, like gravity force, applied forces, normal force, and friction force. We all know gravity, it's the force that keeps us on Earth. The applied forces are what make interactions between objects possible. For example, when an object in motion hits a motionless object, it makes him move too. Just like for the dominoes. Normal forces explain why you don't break your chair because of gravity when you sit down on it. The normal forces are what make objects capable of supporting other objects on top, so that gravity does not break the supporting object. Finally, friction force is the force that slows down object while they're sliding. To conclude this definition, computer simulated physics are a part of a program used to recreate real-world physics in a computer. Now, what is the use of these computer simulated physics? Of course, you can break Kaplan towers or make dominoes fall, but there's more than this. Computer simulations are widely used in scientific research. For example, NASA has created a group called the Advanced Supercomputing Division dedicated to creating computer simulations. Certain various themes such as thermal protection fibers, researching exoplanets, or testing aerodynamics. Computer simulated physics are also used in designing vehicles. This concerns all vehicles, such as bikes, cars, or even planes. After cars have been designed and before they are manufactured, they are tested thousands of times, the testers make sure they can simulate any type of crash that could happen, using giant hangers where they drop cars and computers. This concludes part one, now let's move on to part two, where I conduct an experiment using catapults. In this experiment, I set up two catapults as shown on the image, on the left and the right. We will compare the catapults to see which one can throw the cube over a 100 meter wall. When the simulation begins, the green balls, according to gravity, will fall down. The green balls both weigh 1 ton, or 1000 kilograms, and each little cube is 100 grams. The goal is to propel the cube over a 100 meter high wall, and this is what we get. The red cube is the one that is pushed by the catapult with a triangular base. As you would expect, the red cube passes over, the yellow one does not. Of course, this is a very easy experiment. Before the simulation even started, you would probably have guessed that the red cube would pass and the yellow one would not. But what is great is that you can see the results in detail. For example, you can look at why the red cube went higher than the yellow cube. This picture was taken just after the start of the simulation. As you can see, the triangular base allows a larger movement for the plank, so that the red cube can go higher. Well, this concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed watching and that this experiment gave you ideas for your future lab reports.